There you guys. In the bottom left, as the blue Protoss, spawning for Virtus, we have Kamikaze. And in the bottom right, under the banner of Pass Gaming, as the red Protoss, we have Triumph. Winning last game with pretty decisive Immortals. And in another PvP as well. So we'll see what happens. And... Oh, he saw the probe. He had a little move command going there, checking for cannon rushes. We have a pro battle going on, guys. Looks oh, if Kamikaze hadn't moved commanded, he would have won that fight. Round one, fight. <laughs> so we have a forge coming down for Kamikaze, and another pro moving out. Could be a cannon rush. But I feel like oh, okay. So it was a forge first. He was actually intending on cannon rushing. He could actually try to cannon rush again. Yep, he's totally going for it. Pylon going down? Yep. So he's going for the cannon rush, guys. Sorry, got a text message. So we saw cannons come down here, blocking off the natural. Let's see if Triumph actually saw that. He did. Okay. Um, so I still feel like Kamikaze is behind. Like if Immortals come out or anything really to deal with these cannons, then I think Triumph will be ahead. So we see some units moving out. Probably Photon over. Oh, never mind. This is Triumph's units. What am I thinking? So he's gonna take out this pylon. This is a really good move by him, moving around here like this. Definitely gotta give him props for this. Taking out the pylon. Looks like he was considering taking the base up here. Decided against it, I guess. Picks down the natural. So, Triumph is still pretty far ahead. Anyway. That gets cleaned up. Let's check units lost. So Triumph has lost literally nothing the entire game. And Kamikaze is about to lose 600 minerals. So that's a big deal. That's a thing. Seven units lost, if you consider a structure a unit. And, oh, we're going to see first blood here from Kamikaze. First blood! And the Nexus goes down. Triumph in a significant lead in supply and in terms of the nexus timing, but we see Kamikaze is ahead in the upgrade department, that's for sure, and as well as the tech department. Okay, I lied. They're, they're pr pretty much equal in tech, but Kamikaze is definitely ahead in the plus one, so I'd say upgrades is the place where Triumph could use some work, that's for sure. Maybe double forge it up or something. We got five stalkers out. And supply lead is still in favor of Triumph.
definitely ahead in the uh, income department. Anyway, I'm just answering some chat stuff. So, let me see. Army supply is about even. Immortals popping out. Both both teams. Blank coming out here for Triumph. S and Kamikaze is leading in upgrades significantly. So, it could still really go in favor of Kamikaze if he's able to take a pretty good fight. Depending on the... Um, angle of the engagement and whether or not he fights into a photon overcharge or vice versa. So, I'd, say, I'd still say this is anyone's game, but I think Triumph has the potential to pull ahead due to his economy. So, we'll see. His gas, like when you check gas income, it's, it's 2 to 1 for gas income. So, as long as he spends the gas that he has, you can see that he's floating quite a lot. Then he should be able to pull, pull ahead when it comes to like Immortals or storm or whatever particular tech he decides he wants to go down. But blink finishing up. Plus one attack is about halfway. And we got a plus one shield finishing up here for Kamikaze. So he's gonna be plus one shield. Oh we do have an attack coming in. No mothership core in the vicinity. Still too many stalkers though. There is two immortals though. That's one more immortal than he wants to deal with, that's for sure. Mothership core does come down. Uh, we do have four more gateways coming down, which is good for him. So, I think uh, Triumph definitely has the potential to pull ahead here very soon. Probably should see a couple more uh, Stalkers warp in. And it looks like Triumph's just going to move out here with the plus one timing attack. Uh, we do have plus two coming down here for Kamikaze, so he kind of does need to hit a window. Uh, Triumph does before it's too late. And we do have a Dark Shrine coming down as well for um, Kamikaze, so I think the uh, window of opportunity is disappearing for Triumph. With plus two weapons coming down, Dark Shrine, he's gonna have to fight Archon soon. We do have Zealot Legs as well, so you know, he, he needs to get on the attacking and do some damage before things are too late. So we see some click commands here. Triumph moving up into the third base, checking for it. We do have the third base uh, starting for Triumph. So as long as he doesn't overcommit, he can get his third base down and get ahead economically. Blinks ahead and kills that uh, observer. It's a good volley off against that immortal. Hmm. Huge warp in High Templar. Burns down that gas we were talking about earlier. That uh, advantage that he had in the gas timing, he dumped that into probably Archons, I would assume. Is he really going to go Storm? No, there's no Storm coming, so... Hmm, yeah, looks like they're, yeah, like they're going to be about even on weapons, but probably going to see Archons and Storm, no way. Yep, there's the Archons, you can see them on the production tab. And Archon's coming down here for Kamikaze. It's still relatively even for this game, except for the third base timing. This game like started out in favor of Triumph pretty significantly, and then it just kind of evened out a bit. But third base, definitely going to help Triumph pull ahead. As long as he doesn't overcommit to like any sort of attack and like loses all of this, then he'll be in really good shape. So, you can see the supplies starting to spiral out of control in favor of Triumph. Hmm. Triumph's still floating a lot of money. He needs to spend his money, that's for sure. You check his warp gates. I think he could uh, definitely to spend his money on the warp gates there. No pylons going down, like forward pylons or anything, so... Let's check units. Five immortals out for Kamikaze. We saw what happened last time when there was a 
a disproportionate amount of immortals for one team as compared to another. It didn't end well for the person without the immortals. So, we will see. Plus three weapons on the way for Triumph. I think Triumph could get a decent engagement here. Um, most of the Zealots are out of position. We'll have to see. Let me zoom out here. Get a better angle on the engagement. Alright. Looks like we're about to see a fight go down, guys. Immortals out in the front, taking the damage. Zealots coming in from behind. Looks like the Immortals are getting ripped apart, though. They're not really able to sit in the back and do a bunch of damage. Everything's getting ripped apart here for Kamikaze. The Immortals weren't able to deal enough damage. We do have one Dark Templar in the fight, but all the Observer has to do is move, and it's basically game over. And the Immortals did not do enough damage. They ended up tanking the engagement instead of sitting in the back, dealing the damage. The Zealots, normally you'd want them to tank, and then the Archons to tank, and then the Immortals, but not in reverse order. So, really good angle of fight here for Triumph. That's going to be game number... Let me count it. Game number six. And that's going to be the end of the Clan War, guys. Triumph winning the final engagement there. Winning the Clan War. Just waiting on the GG here from Kamikaze. And there it is. And he's just hanging out in the game. Alright, there we go. Triumph is the victor. And Pass Gaming is triumphant against Virtus. So, thank you for guys for watching. Uh, hit the follow button if you didn't do so already. And I uh, stream Clan Wars every Friday and Saturday. So, if you enjoyed the stream and you'd like to see more Clan Wars, go ahead and hit the follow button. Uh, probably going to be more awake next Clan War. But, <laughs> yeah, anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.